Hey guys, Bill Jordan here. I'm at 201-790-3368. I do candid video interviews. If you're a painter, sculptor, or candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know, and the best way for them to know you is with my candid video interview. It resonates with them on the soul level. That's where it all happens. When I say soul, I mean the collective unconscious of the whole planet. <clears throat> Everybody's in this big bubble. Everything is in this big boat, and we are all one. To believe otherwise is to, is to be in error, is to be in sin, is to be ungodly. And I know you wouldn't want to be ungodly because you believe in God, right? I mean, think about that, man. <clears throat> you believe in a God that would, you know, say that one group of people is better than the other, that your group is better than the other guys, right? Why would you? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, you know, I, I do a lot of ranting and raving because I, I just see all these indiscrepancies man, in my world, you know, and you could say, well, why just leave it alone? Well, I can't. That's the way I'm wired right now, you know, to leave it alone would, would you know, go against my quest. And my quest is, is to elevate, you know, the awareness, elevate the consciousness of the planet, of humanity through uh, conscious raising art. That's what I, that's my mission is. So for me not to do this would be a violation of my, of my commitment to myself, to the planet. So today, you know, this particular clip is gonna be very short and simple, but I wanna turn you on to a valuable, valuable, valuable resource. And I know you know about it, but I don't see many people talking about it. Why, I don't know. It's a thing called the, uh, the Smithsonian Institute. You know, and here's a painting here. I'm gonna see if I can blow this up. There's a painting here by a lady. Yeah, here it is. This is uh, 1934, during the Depression. But you know, you see the uh, the clarity of the the craftswomanship because a woman did this. What's her name? Uh, Lily Parady. Right, Lily was fantastic. Right. There's, that's her, her details over there. You can go to check it out over there, right? But look at the work, man. It's just beautiful. You know, the colors, the tension, the detail. I mean, it's solid, man. It's solid. Good work. And I'm bringing it up because why don't we show stuff like this? You know, we're usually showing, you know, we're beating our chest. Look at my work. Oh, look at my work. Everyone's going to say that everyone there's other sites, because we don't have that on my site. You know why we don't have that? Because to get on my site to post to work, you have to do a candid video interview, and they won't do it. See, like, <clears throat> if you're so committed to your work, to your art, first of all, you know, what's, what's, what's your purpose? What's your mission? Why do you do what you do? If you're doing your work just to, to, um, for self-aggrandizement, or for beauty, for the sake of beauty, I understand why you don't call. Because if you're doing it for just for, you know, to, to please yourself because it feels good, then what happens is you have to make a decision to, to stay making stuff that makes you feel good or getting out of your comfort zone and doing something that you don't feel comfortable doing like the candid video interview. So as long as that's a choice for you, in other words, like if, you, if your mission is to raise the consciousness of the planet. It doesn't matter if you have to do a candid video interview. It doesn't matter if you have to do this. It doesn't matter if you have to do anything. That's what you have to do if it's there. But because you're so wrapped up into, I do it because it makes me feel good, you're not going to do it. And I think that, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that's something that we have to look at very carefully, very closely. And again, you know, I say these things because they're in my mind. And, you know, you can disagree and you probably will because you have to defend your position of making art that makes you feel good. Yeah, <laughs> right. And I'm saying, wake up, guys. This, it's like you have a duty as an artist, not just to do things that make you feel good. You have a duty to raise the consciousness of the planet, right, in some way. Or on a lower level, you just have a function. Your function could be, you know, as an illustrator, your fun, you know, all that kind of stuff. Your function is con to convey commercial concepts. If that's your function, then great. But 
to do it just because it makes you feel good, <clears throat> that's not this, that's not gonna cut it. <clears throat> Doesn't give you solid solid work because your feelings today will be different from the, uh, tomorrow or five years from now. All right. And I'm, I, I know I'm generalizing being ruthless, but I don't particularly care right now. I'm bringing out to you, you had the Smithsonian Institute. You don't go there. Why don't you post this stuff on your platforms, right? And there's some other stuff in there too. But uh, I just wanted to show you that particular image. I thought it's fantastic. Come on now, go on back. Well, you got it. It won't go back. So that's that's what I want to share with you. That <clears throat> excuse me. That at the Smithsonian, they have all this stuff going on, man. You can go to the Smithsonian and check this stuff out. You don't have to, you know, uh, flounder around thinking that you have to do some special work. I mean, it's right there. And for those people who want to get rid of museums and the uh, endowment for the arts and all that stuff. Why do you want to do that? I mean, you know, the culture, we're going to have a, a lot of conversation about culture today. That's the culture of your nation. Why would you want to abolish that or make it difficult to, for it to survive? I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, that's my point of view. I've never been a supporter of that stuff, but I mean, like, why? It, you know, we have all this great stuff in, in like museums, man. All right, I'm at 201-790-3368. I do candid video interviews. If you're a painter, sculptor, or a candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. Give me a call. You know, we'll set a time to do an interview and see what happens. All right, peace out. Bill Jordan here. I'm